the five signs that your relationship is over or it's heading in that direction. Watch this. What's going on YouTube? It is your man's Mr. Dominic Cruz featured on ABC, NBC, CBS, Yahoo, and Fox coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Hope you guys are strong for your purpose and mission life. You guys are going out there, working hard for, grinding it out, and getting water for because at the end of the day, we want the purpose and mission life. Good things do happen. So before we get into this whole thing, I want you, I want to make sure that you guys subscribe and hit that notification sign there. So every time that I make a video, you'd be the first one to know. And don't forget to get my new book, 10 Simple Tips to Get Over Your Ex. So the five signs that uh, is an indicator that your relationship is over or it's heading in that direction, okay? Because everybody, the number one enemy when it comes to uh, relationships and the reason why certain things get ignored is because comfort. When you're so comfortable in a relationship, everything starts to let go. And then there's also these like shades. There's also, when I mean my shade, I'm talking about like this, like sneak this, there's this. There's so many variables that tells you that your relationship is heading in a direction and you have this amount of time to fix it. And if it's not, and if it's not being able to, if you, if you tried and it's not being able to fix, then you tried, right? But, um, Let's get into the whole thing anyways, okay? So, number one is that when a major event happens, whether that's a good event or a bad event, you're not the first person that they tell. I'm talking a major event, not a small event. Uh, I'm talking a major event. Like, you know, your your part, your, your, your significant other is your best friend. And let me just say this on a side note. If anybody, if your significant other gets offended at the fact that you call them your best friend or friend in general... That's a red flag on all itself. There's a reason why they call it girlfriend or for women, boyfriend, you know, so. Um, but when a major event happens, you're not the first person that they tell. They tell their friend or they tell someone else. And that's an indicator that your relationship is heading in a direction to where it's going to, it's, 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 it's getting over or kind of reminding you that you you kind of had the signs a while ago when you're in that relationship so understand that when you're not the first person that they tell it's rocky and if and, and, and of course if it's already over then you know that's an indicator that kind of tells you like you know a why of how long it's been like that and to the point to where you guys broke up, all right? Number two is if when you are together, you still feel alone. That's it's such a crappy feeling, to be honest, because like when you feel, because when you have someone and they're like with you all the time and you're, you, you're, you're a partner, you're, you're, you're a relationship, you guys commit to each other, but you still feel alone, like you can't really talk to them. Not only that, your vision is not really aligned with them. You're your, your, your values are different and it's just, damn. Now, if you're the kind of person to where your values are, are, are very similar and you still feel alone, I mean, there's other factors that make you feel alone because it's where your priorities are. And to feel alone in a relationship, it's got to be the most... It's the feeling is so I don't want to say degrading, but it's kind of I'm, I'm going to say that word because it's like you're with this person. You're supposed to feel upgraded. You're supposed to feel amazing, inspired, joyful, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you're feeling the exact opposite and it's alone. That's a very sure sign that your relationship is heading in the direction that it's over or it's the reason why it's over. Uh, <laughs> so understand that number two. Thrace, as uh, you're wondering if you can do better. Now, this is this happens in a lot of relationships. And if you have to ask yourself if you're wondering if you can do better, it's because... It, first, before you ask yourself that question, have you talked to your partner about 
things that they can improve on. If not, and you're asking yourself that question, I recommend you talk to them. If you're asking yourself that question after the relationship is over, um, then yes, you can. If you're wondering, you can do better. I mean, like that, you have no choice but to go in that direction because the relationship is over. And if you're still wondering if you could do better and the relationship is over, I mean, then you're kind of like you need to figure out how you can better yourself. You need to figure out how you can better you before you can find someone else. You need to find how you can love yourself so that way that you can, if you love yourself enough, you'll find someone to love and, and, and something like that. But um, it's a quote it, It's a quote that I've heard a while ago and actually one of the other coaches on YouTube platform said it is that you must love in such a way where the person you love feels free. And that's a Tita Han um, a quote. So, yeah. Another sure way that your relationship is over is uh, you've gained weight. Ooh, that's a big one, right? So this is one thing that I've noticed that after one of my relationships was over, I was a little bigger than I typically... I'm, I'm, I was a little bigger. And I was like, hmm, this is... <laughs> it, it, everyone calls it relationship weight but it was pretty much weight it, it, weight gained from stress and you know not working on yourself and then you know when you're spending so much time working on the relationship you are you're not putting that m much focus into yourself you're gonna gain weight i've seen this happen i'm still seeing it happen um and it's kind of a sign that says that your relationship is going to head to an end because you're letting yourself go and you don't care you don't care about yourself if you don't care about yourself you don't care about your relationship i'm gonna put that out there right now if you don't care about yourself you ain't, you don't care at all okay so uh last but not least is that you're fighting more often than you're than not so you're fighting you're arguing a lot more than usual like usually there's one fight every six to 12 months maybe every year you're not fighting you, you and if you're fighting so much it's kind of like you're not really matched together you're stressing out each other more you're 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 kind of the more you're with each other the more spiteful you get towards each other so that's pretty much like the whole thing so those are the five sure ways that your relationship is over or it's heading that direction that it's over. When something big happens, you're not the first one to know. You feel alone when you're together. You're wondering if you could do better. You've gained weight and you're fighting way too often. So that's pretty much the whole thing. If you're finding, if you want to get over your ex, you're trying to find a way to get over your ex, you can get my brand new book called 10 Simple Tips to Get Over Your Ex out on Amazon right now. And if you like my work, if you like my videos, you can also contribute by donating. There is a Venmo link and a PayPal link in the description box. And if you guys find this information valuable, I want you to drop a like, drop a comment, drop a share. And of course, it is your man, Mr. Dominic, who's coming at you with another video. Yes, another one, another one, another one. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, take it easy. Mm -hmm.